feel like you have power in your sails? I do, I do. Les and Karen are making a last call on their busy lives in California to take it easy in Costa Rica. This is just incredible. Can you pinch me? I know. As new empty nesters, they're hoping the Gold Coast's laid-back lifestyle will be a good change of pace. The master seems small, and then the other bedroom is kind of small. I think it's all right, though. But the trade-offs of living simply might still be a source of stress. This is my kind of house. I just wish we could afford it, honey. Karen seems to want it all. I wonder how hard it would be to make the stove bigger and the refrigerator bigger. Is that a deal breaker? It isn't definitely for me. Les is the money guy, and I feel like they're kind of two ships passing in the night. It's got two beds for our three kids. I don't think they want to sleep together. We have to make some sacrifices somewhere. Roseville, California is where we live. It's very friendly, kind of quaint and small. Honey, I got to go to work. I'm a registered nurse. I've been a nurse for 25 years. How much more work do you have, babe? I still have at least a couple more hours of paperwork, maybe three. After seeing patients all day, I still have dinner to make, and then you're exhausted by 8 o'clock. How's it going? Hey, good. Enjoy your night. Also, we own a sports bar, and it's open seven days a week, and so it just takes a ton of your time. I'm always on call. Something's got to be done. There's something missing. And after a while, I just take toll. Les and Karen plan to sell their bar and hopefully retire early. And they feel Costa Rica's laid-back Gold Coast will be an affordable and tranquil place to do it. Can you believe it? We're almost ready. We are. We're new empty nesters. So he decided it was a great time for us to get out and explore the world. We're going to be enjoying a different atmosphere, maybe some monkeys. That'd be fun. It is going to be nice. The scary part is just the unknown, because we've never lived in Latin America before, so I know it'll be some cultural differences. It's harder than I thought, whittling down all this stuff. Just... We have a lot, honey. We have a big house with about 4,600 square feet, full of furniture. Sell, sell the candles. We know we're not going to get something nearly this big. Do you think we'll have room for this side table? Uh, honey, I think we can get something like that down there. So it'll be some learning curves when we get there. I can't get rid of everything. No, but you can try. It is no turning back. We're selling everything. We're totally committed, both feet in. A little bit scared because we're not sure exactly how it's all going to turn out, but we're looking forward to this adventure. Located on the northwest corner of Costa Rica, the region known as the Gold Coast has a diverse ecology with everything from pristine beaches to towering volcanoes. With the secret of the area's beauty slow to get out, homes are fairly easy to come by. Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Karen. Good. But the biggest obstacle to owning a place will be their bottom line. OK, so are you looking for a home? We are. We're looking for a house somewhat close to the beach, if possible. On the beach would be great. OK, perfect. We definitely want a pool. We want a fairly modern house that doesn't need a lot of renovations. Yeah, you know, maybe a little paint a here and there, but nothing that needs a lot of attention. Move in ready. Right. I really want a three bedroom. Three bedroom. Because we have family that will come down. I'm the one that watches the budget, so for the right price. I think we can live without the third bedroom. I want a kitchen that I can cook and have people over because I enjoy cooking a lot. I want a laundry room, a washer and dryer in the house, and we want it to be furnished because we're not planning on bringing furniture down. Right, OK. What is your budget? Well, we're looking at about 220. OK. 220,000. Okay. Anything above that is probably a deal breaker. If we can't get that within our budget, we're going to probably have to go back to work, and that kind of defeats the purpose of why we're doing this. We might increase the budget. A little bit more, but I definitely want to find something that will fit. I don't think with this budget and your bedroom count and a pool, we can put you on the beach. But our goal will be to put you as close to the beach as possible. And okay. I really want three bedrooms. Karen seems fairly insistent on wanting a three bedroom. A two bedroom, that price is totally doable. But a three bedroom is going to cost more money. My strategy in choosing this home was about compromise between them. I knew it wouldn't have the third bedroom, but it's well under budget, and this house checks a lot of boxes for them. All right, here we are. Welcome to Casa Sangre Hoven. It is a two-bedroom, two-bath home, and it's listed for $189,000. Wow, well within the budget. I like that. It's good that it's under budget, but I really wanted the third bedroom. And budget's not everything. OK, come on in. 
very nice. A lot of space for having family and friends over. I do love the ceilings. I love the wood. Definitely gives us a Costa Rican feel. We have a drop-down kitchen, as you can see here. I wonder how hard it would be to make the stove bigger and the refrigerator bigger. I don't think those are full size. It is a little smaller. And there's no cabinets up above except for the corner. You'll find that in many kitchens, yeah. They, but they do have the cabinets on the bottom. Is that a deal breaker? It isn't definitely for me. The kitchen seemed small. I'm not sure if I could get used to that. OK, and here we have the master bedroom. And you have your own ensuite bathroom here. Oh, very big. That's nice, good size. There's also ample closet space. And that's rare in Costa Rica. You don't really find um, a lot of closet space. I think we could fit our clothes. And I love the wood, but it makes the room seem kind of dark. I think this is a spectacular place. It's got two beds for our three kids, so they can all stay here. We don't need that third bedroom. <laughs> I don't think they want to sleep together. We have to make some sacrifices somewhere. And being $30,000 under budget, that's right up my alley. Very nice. Wow, yeah. this is beautiful. Can have a nice little dinner outside here underneath the palapa, barbecue over there. I love the shower, too. That's pretty. Outdoor shower. And then you have your own private pool with a waterfall. That sounds beautiful. great. Beautiful. Where's the laundry room? The laundry room is outside. I really wanted the laundry in the house because I'm the one that does the laundry. I really don't want to carry it in and out. That's common in Costa Rica. A lot of people want to keep the heat outside of the home. We're just not used to that. Les doesn't even do laundry, so he really doesn't have a vote. How far do you think we are from the beach? This home is probably the furthest from the beach, but you're still well within a five-minute walk. That's not bad. This is everything we've talked about and what we've wanted. Everything but the third bedroom. She can live without a third bedroom. I really love this place, and it's way under budget. It is under budget. It's got a lot going for it, but I'm just not positive that I'm willing to give up the third bedroom. Now, this is nice. This is beautiful. Sarah can deliver an affordable three bedroom, but Karen may have a tough time getting attached. Here is the casita that gives you your third bedroom space. But I want all three bedrooms together. I'm not sure. This is just incredible. I can't believe how beautiful it is. Empty nesters Karen and Les were worn out from the demands of owning a busy bar and being a nurse in California. I can't believe this is going to be something that we're going to be able to do every single day. I know. I love it here. They're selling their business and home and plan to live completely off their savings in Costa Rica's Gold Coast. There's like hardly anybody out. It's like your own private beach. It is, isn't it? Karen's in favor of simplifying their lives. But after seeing their first option, she's even more assured that living with less than three bedrooms isn't the way she's looking to do it. It is a two-bedroom, two-bath home, and it's listed for $189,000. Wow, well within the budget. I like that. It's good that it's under budget, but budget's not everything. Les doesn't want to go back to work in order to afford a place that will meet Karen's needs. I wonder how hard it would be to make the stove bigger and the refrigerator bigger. I don't think those are full size. Is that a deal breaker? It isn't definitely for me. This water is just unbelievable. It's warm. It's just nothing like California, is it? Well, it's water you actually want to be in because it's not freezing cold. <laughs> yeah. The Gold Coast of Costa Rica, it's a microclimate where it gives you about five to six months of summer with a very mild winter with very low humidity. And uh, we're really looking forward to more quality time together and going somewhere to start something fresh for the two of us. There's so much to go see and do. We can hike go on beach walks. It's like our own slice of paradise. It is. Can you pinch me? I know. Real estate agent Sarah Brightlander knows she has to balance their budget and space needs. So she finds something that will still please less, but it may only slightly satisfy Karen. This house is Casa Gecko. This is a two bedroom, two bath home. But there's also a casita, which has another bedroom and another bath. Oh, wow. So, all together, three bedroom, three bath home. This is also the closest home to the beach. You're literally under a two minute walk to the beach, and you can hear the waves when you're outside the home. How much is it? $199,000. It's under budget. Absolutely. Wow. I knew you'd like that. Yes. 
This house is under budget, but I want all three bedrooms together. It's just not exactly what I envisioned. I wanted you to see this great entertaining space. Oh, this is nice. This is beautiful. So you have a very large pool here. You have a bar, great deck space. I can see us entertaining family and friends here. This is very nice. So here is your kitchen and your main living area. It is a little tight, but I think it's doable. It is pretty with the beams. I do like the hardwood beams. Mm -hmm. Here's the kitchen. It's a galley kitchen with plenty of cabinet space, as you can see. I do love the cabinets. It is nice. You have your washer dryer here. Oh, that would make you happy, honey. Laundry convenient is a good thing. Oh, that's great. The kitchen's a little bit small, but it does have a lot of cabinets, which I like. And it does have the indoor laundry facility, which is really important to me. So it would work. OK, here we have the master. And as you can see, there's an incredibly large master ensuite bathroom there. Oh, it's really big. OK. But the master seems small to be a master. And then the other bedroom is kind of small. I think it's all right, though. Remember, this is a three-bedroom home if you include the casita. And it's $20,000 under budget, honey. Yeah. All right, let's go take a look at the casita. OK. OK. Well, this is a very unique property. Nice. It's not a huge space, but it's more than sufficient. And I'm amazed that we can actually find this property for the price that they're asking. It is nice, but I'm not sure about it not being connected to the house. I think it's great, because our family and friends come over. They have their own privacy. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I do like this house a lot, but it's not quite as big as I was hoping for. Downsizing is already a big step. So I just want to make sure we have enough room for us and that we have enough room for everybody to come enjoy Costa Rica, too. Wow. So this home certainly has a wow factor. There's no sacrificing with this home. I'm very happy with the third bedroom. This is beautiful, Sarah. I'm a little mad at Sarah. I just wish we could afford it, honey. Have either of you guys sailed before? No. All right, well, you picked the perfect day for your first time. Karen and Les both worked exhausting and demanding jobs in California, so they decided they'd rather slow things down. Feet over or where? Uh, no, feet towards the middle there. They're planning to live off the money from selling their house. Sell the candles. And their business on Costa Rica's Gold Coast. This is going to be fun. Les is ready to downsize and find an affordable option that'll keep him from re-entering the workforce. I really love this place, and it's way under budget. It's got a lot going for it, but I'm just not positive that I'm willing to give up the third bedroom. Even after seeing two homes, Karen isn't any closer to scaling back to Les's limits. The master seems small to be a master, and then the other bedroom is kind of small. I think it's all right, though. And remember, this is a three-bedroom home if you include the casita. And it's $20,000 under budget, honey. Yeah. An important thing to remember about the wind is it can change directions. We had some friends that had stopped work early and decided to go move and start adventuring. So that was inspirational. It's like, well, why can't we move or go do something different? Now we're getting a little wind. There we go. Just a little. The timing was perfect. The kids were going off to college, and it was no better time than for us to just pack up, sell everything, and move on to our next chapter of our life. How does it feel? You feel like you have power in your sales? I do, I do. We're looking forward to the slower-paced lifestyle, the Pura Vida lifestyle, where we can just take one day at a time. Are we ready for Karen to uh, take the helm? I'm ready. This is going to give us that opportunity to spend more time together and see what Costa Rica can bring us. Keep heading over towards that boat over there in the harbor. Karen seems to want it all and is not worried about the budget. We're going to the left boat or the right boat? You pick one. The right boat. Les is more of the money guy, and I feel like they're kind of two ships passing in the night. In terms of comparing this home to the other ones, there's no sacrificing with this home. It's probably the nicest of their options, but that's because it costs more money. This is Casa Sueños. Casa Sueños is a three-bedroom, two-bath home. So it has your extra bedroom, Karen. It's close to the beach, but it's available for $250,000. I know it's a little over budget, but it checks everything else off of your wish list, so that's why I think we should see it. 
I can't wait to see it. Okay, let's go. All right. The house is just way over budget. I, and I prefer really not to go back to work. Wow. So this home certainly has a wow factor. It is impressive. But does it come furnished? The home does come fully furnished. It's furnished and it's beautiful. Here's the kitchen. Oh, and it's modern. Full-size stove. And it also has a laundry within the home. This is my kind of house. The floor-to-ceiling windows are absolutely stunning. The beauty, it's overwhelming. I absolutely love it. There are 28 varieties of plant life, and it's all in your backyard. I can see myself swimming laps. It's exactly what we're looking for. It's what I envisioned. I don't want to go back to work either, but I want to find the perfect fit for us, and maybe we can make it work. Here we have the second bedroom, which is very large. This is great. I love the way it opens up to the outside. Here we have the third bedroom. You have built-in closets. There are vaulted ceilings and beautiful tinted concrete floors throughout the home. It is very nice. I love the floors. And you like that it's the third bedroom inside the home, right? I'm very happy with the third bedroom. And just look at this master. Beautiful floors, beautiful vaulted ceilings, very spacious. This is beautiful. I just wish we could afford it, honey. Yeah, I'm a little mad at Sarah. I love the rocks. I love the double sink. Gives you a feeling that you're taking a shower outside. This is it. You know, she showed us his house that's over budget, and my wife really loves it now. It's so large, it's like, wow. It's got the three bedrooms. It's close to the beach. It's a very impressive house, but I'm it's... worried about the budget. I think it's definitely worth the money. It's just a matter of, can we actually fit it into our budget? I hope we can. Karen and Les are at a crossroads as to what takes bigger priority, bedrooms or budget. I know we want to not go back to work, so what do you think? Check out our most exotic locations, then share your thoughts on the latest episodes. Online now at HGTV.com slash House Hunters International. Houses, but there's two with the third bedroom. Well, I really like the one because it was way under budget. From selling their bar and saving up, empty nesters Karen and Les can stop working and start spending more quality time together in Costa Rica. But finding a house in the Gold Coast area that they can agree on is keeping them apart. I think we should figure out which we should pick. Okay. Coming in under their $220,000 budget, House One eases Les's money worries. It is a two-bedroom, two-bath home, and it's listed for $189,000. I like that. It's a five-minute walk to the beach, but the lack of a third bedroom has Karen longing for more space. It's got two beds for our three kids. I don't think they want to sleep together. I wonder how hard it would be to make the stove bigger and the refrigerator bigger. It's good that it's under budget, but budget's not everything. House Two's price and location are also appealing to Les. You're literally under a two-minute walk to the beach, and you can hear the waves when you're outside the home. It's under budget. Absolutely. Wow. I knew you'd like that. Even though it has a third bedroom, the layout is not winning over Karen. I'm not sure about it not being connected to the house. The master seems small to be a master, and then the other bedroom is kind of small. I think it's all right, though. Karen is finally finding something to swoon over with house three. This is my kind of house. It's got the three bedrooms. It's close to the beach. It's like, wow. Yeah, I'm a little mad at Sarah. I love the rocks. I love the double sink. This is it. You know, she showed us his house that's old budget, and my wife really loves it now. It's a very impressive house. I'm it's worried about the budget. get rid of one. I would get rid of Sun Gray Hoven because of the third bedroom issue and then the laundry outside. I just can't do that. But I love that because it's so under budget. It's under budget, yes, but I really don't like the house as much as the other two. Well, if it means that much to you have that third bedroom, let's just get rid of Sun Gray Hoven right now. OK. Well, we've got it down to two. Now, I know you love Castle Swingers. 
I love the third bedroom it has. I love the modernness. It's got the laundry room. I think it's the house. It is very, very nice, but it is $30,000 over our budget. On the other hand, Casa Gecko has everything we want, too, and it's $20,000 under our budget. I love Casa Gecko being so close to the beach. It is the closest to the beach out of the three. And it has that casita in the back with the third bedroom and the third bath, which is a, one more bath than we have at Casa Sueños. But I really wanted all three bedrooms together. And I'm not sure the family room and kitchen area is going to be big enough when we have people over. Yes, but it's got that great pool. I love the pool. I love the character it has. And I know we want to not go back to work. So what do you think? Can you give up your dream of Casa Sueños? Well, I know it'll be a lot smaller, but it's got everything we want to, and it does make more sense to not put all the money in the house. And that's why we are trying to retire and live that uh, simpler life. So I'm kind of getting you to make a decision? I think you're right. I think you're the voice of reason. We should go with Casa Gecko. All right. Well, we love it so far. It's enjoyable just to have something to do every day. We've barely scratched the surface since we've been here, and we're looking forward to so many more things that we're going to be able to do. We're outside all Almost the time, all so day. that's what Costa Rica is all about, is the outside living. Honey, did you uh, send those pictures over to your folks? Yeah, my mom just said she got them. We're so happy that we found the house that provides us that outside space that's so enjoyable. Can't believe this is our life every day. It's incredible. We love our house. We love the coziness of it. It has a lot of character to it and kind of gives us that Costa Rican feel. You haven't really missed the furniture that we had to leave behind now, have you? No, don't even think about it anymore. We're happy to have a different pace of life and not get up every day having to go to work. We get up and plan something fun or sometimes just relax by the pool. It's 5 o'clock Sunday. Just to be able to slow down has just been a blessing to us, and we really enjoyed that part of the experience we've had in Costa Rica so far. It's fantastic. It's like a little oasis.